Hey, I'm Dave Wielike, and in this video, I wanna do a follow-up to my Vitruvian V-Form Trainer Overview. So we're gonna look at the stats of all my exercise activities. I received my uh, V-Form Trainer in about April, and I continued using it into May. And then in June, I did move, so I kinda of had a lot of off days, and in July, I've been trying to catch on up. Anyway, let's go ahead and check out my stats so far. You can see right over here, I've got 10,000 points. All right, that's pretty cool. Um, and as well as if we scroll on down a little bit, you can see our progress. This is just for this week. So I did some workouts on Monday. And again, as I was describing to you, uh, the progress is just not gonna look so great here. You obviously wanna go in the different direction than what I've done, but anyway, so these are my points and I did 5,000 points, the vast majority of my points of that 10,000 that I have total in May, and it was nicely building up from April, and if you look at then June, that's when it started to go down, along with July, I'm still catching up, we're still at the halfway point of July, so hopefully I can uh, continue on quickly. And so you can see the exercise history, so let's just go ahead and continue on clicking. So. I clicked on this crossover punch, and you see that I gained some 30 points there. I did have some reps uh, doing 25 there, and energy exerted your, your calories, as well as your peak. When you go up, when you go down, you know, there are different um, weights associated with that. And then right below that, you'll see your average up and down uh, resistance weight. So that's going to be constantly fluctuating, right? And your peak at the end of the day is gonna be the heaviest that you hit. So if we go into details, you can actually see this happening, right? So you can see, oh, okay, early on in my reps, I hit my peak, and then as we continued on, it kind of got lower and lower my force. So that resistance decreased over time because I probably got more tired. And you can see that same idea for velocity, how fast we're going, as well as the position. So clearly, uh, it looks like I took a break around, I don't, I don't know, towards the end of it, because you probably get tired. <laughs> and that's understandable, I'd say. So let's uh, go ahead and exit out of here. And as we continue on down, you can see what I've done over and over and over and over and it's just infinite. Okay, if you want more information in regards to your exercise history, make sure you click on detail. And so you can see right here, we've got a variety of exercises that we've performed over time and we can see what's going on, how we're performing from uh, July to June and then of course, May and April. So for this crossover punch, you can see the max resistance that I've been hitting is around 32.4, and then it did dip uh, and continue to go down a little bit. So we've got to get that higher. Uh, and it looks like, you know, we're on our way. So the crunch and press, again, started to do that a little bit in April, but you know, you need a lot of floor space. So I picked that on up into July and we're moving on over doing some shrug stuff. You know, every now and then you do have an outlier like that 60 pounds. I don't even know if I was able to lift that, <laughs> but you know, it was, I'm sure, extremely difficult. But where I started from, and this is key here, look at it in April where I was at 15 pounds. So clearly that one's going in the right direction a little bit here. Um, that's nice to see going on up. But so you could basically break it down to, again, all the exercises that you've done, you see them over time. It is nice that you can search for any particular exercise at the same time. So let's see, curl, and there are two types that I've done, curl and press and hammer curl, uh, as well as, of course, there's, I guess, bicep curl at the very bottom there, there we go. Now, the next thing that I'd like to show you is under profile. Okay, so this is another section to always check on out where you can see, again, your 10,000 points, you can see how many workouts you've done, which I've done 288, and how uh, what the total weight that I've lifted is, is 8,000 pounds, as well as how long I've actually used the machine for, which is only 0.2, um, not even a full hour, I guess, wow. So points earned so far this month is 1,000, and you can see the most improved was uh, my seated row, which now 
I've been able to get to 97 pounds, which trust me, at, at 97 pounds so far, uh, I'm barely moving. It's really hard. So muscle groups, again, you can see where you focused in on most recently. And you can see, uh, yeah, it's been shoulders, back, and yeah, I've got to cl clearly work on my legs and my chest. Um, and you can easily understand what it is that you want to be doing here. And then you go to workout, you can filter, okay, so right here by your equipment type. So right now I only have handles and then you click on the muscle group. So if you want to work out specifically your, your legs, um, as well as your chest. So now you've got both your legs and chest and your exercises all listed here that you can go ahead and scroll through. So I think that pretty much wraps up what I wanted to talk about in this particular video. Again, my progress, you can see it decline, but in the next couple of months, I hopefully uh, will be able to spike it back on up and uh, you know do some more progress videos about it all. And if you have any questions, let me know in the comments section below and hopefully I can cover you know those topics in new videos.